Okay, I got the truck lifted up. Uh, I got some sandbags there from my ballast box um, to kind of stabilize it so I can raise it up on the hoist because all the weight's up front now. I kind of backed it up too so the hoist isn't having to pick up um, all the weight. On the one side, um, I got all my parts for the tank. Uh, I got a new locking ring, so I got my thing locked down. Um, I've got my straps. Uh, what I did there is I'm actually undercoating these straps. They come just steel, but I, I put some undercoating on them. So they're out here drying. Um, getting ready to actually put this tank up in there. Uh, I gotta, I'm just going to clean up this area here a little bit. Um, I got to put my fuel lines back on. Back on there. Um, I've kind of cleaned up the, the cross member here. The front cross member. I've um, got the rear one cleaned up and painted. So um, that's ready to go. Um, I did have one of my subscribers uh, comment saying this is a good time to uh, replace that rear brake line, that hard line that's um, notorious for, for rusting out. Um, it would be a good time to do that. The only problem is this regular cab short bed. Um, there's no way to uh, there's no way to really access that line. Um, you know, except for right there, and I, I there's not really any point in uh, I don't think cutting it off there. And replacing it, um, you pretty much have to uh, go all the way to the ABS, and then now my my deal ain't gonna focus. Pretty much have to go all the way to this ABS block, and the, the rear line is that inside one, and there's no way to get that off unless you take the other um, lines off. There's four other lines there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to mess with the brake line right now. I'm just going to order me the, the stainless kit and then replace all the lines. Because uh, the front ones here, you can see the front lines, that's, the, that's all the front lines. and um, they, they don't really look that great. So that will probably be the next thing on the list to, uh, to do. Um, it's pretty easy for me to pull this bed off, so that really isn't uh, really isn't too hard for me to do to uh, be able to uh, do that rear line. I, on the dually, I didn't take the bed off or the fuel tank out, and I got that line um, in that truck. So um, I guess uh, that'll be another job for another time. Oh, I'm yawning. I'm tired. Um, I'm going to see if I can't get this uh, tank up in there. Straps are still drying, so I might wait. But I'm going to get the tank up in there. I'm ready for the straps. Okay, tank's in. You can see more rust on the ground. Um, wait fairly smoothly except for this front strap this front bolt up here um, the that little the little J nut or whatever that uh, goes in there kept moving on me and I couldn't get the, the bolt started but um, it went fairly smooth I'm gonna drop it down now and uh, hook up my fuel connections and the electrical connections up there. And there we go. 
installed. Looks like my cross member fits perfect. Um, got my plugs plugged in. Got my new harness plugged in. There's a little lock here that keeps it from uh, accidentally um, coming unplugged. Got my fuel lines all plugged in. Got my little locks on there. Um, all my wires routed back where they were. Got my um, filler neck back on, tightened down my rear end vent, a uh, little ground strap back on the frame. Um, should be, actually this thing should run the way it is. I'm going to drop a little bit more fuel in there so the, the fuel pump isn't uh, dry because uh, there is some fuel in there but not a whole lot. I'm going to put a little bit in there probably. Then I might test out my new um, fuel level. I might put some in there, um, see if the, the fuel light comes on, and then fill it up the rest of the way, and uh, see if the fuel um, level light goes out. I'm pretty sure it's going to work, because I tested it and it worked, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to put some fuel in here, and uh, see if she fires up. Okay, I, I'm estimating should be four or five gallon in that tank right now. Uh, I'm gonna cycle the key right now a few times, see what it, uh, Cycle the key three times. See if she fires. Well, I'm actually gonna before I see if she fires up. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing leaking out here under the truck. I will uh, be back in a second here after I check for leaks. Okay, I don't see anything dripping. Let's see if she fires up. I guess. alive. I don't see the fuel light on. I'm not sure exactly uh, when that's supposed to come on. But like I said, I'm estimating four or five gallon in there. So maybe it's too high to uh, set the fuel light on. I don't exactly know when they come on. Uh, but the, you saw the fuel light wasn't on. And every time I turn the key on, well, there it goes. I'm not sure why it's not why it's not flashing now, but um, I guess I'll have to do some more driving to see if it's uh, actually fixed it or not. Well, it's running. Everything's back in place. I guess uh, all it's missing is that. Let's go put it on, I guess.
Well, the bed's back on, all bolted down. Um, I had to go get two new 12 millimeter bolts because you can see uh, this one here, threads are pretty much shot. You're just asking for trouble putting that back in because I want to be able to take this bed on and off whenever I want. So um, I got two new bolts just to make sure um, I could do that. And then one final thing here. You can see I got a new rear bumper, new black one. It's actually supposed to be uh, powder coated. Um, I don't know, we'll see here. Uh, the, the one I took off was rusted pretty bad. Um, uh, it was uh, completely rusted here. I, I probably could have took a screwdriver and run it right through it. Um, I got a whole new assembly. The whole bumper is uh, new. I'm going to take the pads off the old bumper because they're in really good shape. And I'm going to put them on the dually because the dually's got a uh, good bumper, but uh, the, the plastic is in uh, pretty bad shape. And uh, the one side over here, the plastic is really messed up. So, and it's about $100 for a new set of plastics. So, um, if I can use the plastics and chuck the rest of the bumper, um, I will... Uh, at least get something out of that bumper. Still need to get a basil for my tailgate, but uh, that's pretty easy. Um, I guess, uh, moment of truth, it's time to uh, pull this thing out, um, get some uh, fender measurements after I go for a little drive to let the suspension settle. Um, we'll see where we're at. I think it just by looking at it, looks looks a little lower. We'll see, I guess. We'll measure it. Okay, so after a short drive, here's my uh, measurements. We've got uh, befores on this side. We've got afters on this side. Um, <clears throat> so we've gone down a little bit over an inch on the driver's rear. And then we've got uh, an inch on the passenger rear. So it looks like, looks like the two inch lowering shackles give you um, an inch of, of real drop. Um, the front, I uh, decranked my torsion bars. I had them up two and a half turns on each side. So you can see uh, We've uh, come down um, not, not quite an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. Um, yeah, about three quarters of an inch there on the front. <clears throat> what does that uh, translate into? It's uh, trying to back up to give you a whole look here. So it's it's closer to level. <coughs> it's not. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Choking here. <coughs> I've been mowing and uh, <coughs> I think I got something in my my throat, but. Uh, there it is guys, the 2 inch lowering shackles installed. Um, got my bed finished there. Bed liner on the bottom. Got the new bumper there. <coughs> Excuse me. Bed liner on this side. You can see it goes really nicely with the bumper there. It kind of matches up real nice. It's 
still a little high in the back there. And one more thing, um, no fuel light, and uh, by now that fuel light would have come on, it was coming on actually every time I started it, until I started uh, driving down the road, so happy with that, something I'm not happy with, the service engine soon light just come on. I don't know if that has something to do with the the fuel tank because I was messing with it, the EVAP system. Um, it wasn't on before I uh, before I took it in the shop. There were no lights on this thing um, when I took it in, so I'll plug my thing in, find out what the heck that what that means, um, and. Uh, I'll go from there I guess. I'm happy the fuel light is not flashing at me. So I guess uh, the truck is filthy right now. Um, I guess that uh, concludes this video guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll uh, see you in the next one.